y'all I'm I'm just so upset like I didn't expect the color to really do much for the bundle hair but at least for the closure I was expecting some type of metallic silver gunmetal steel vibe it is not it's oh my gosh oxidized on the hair is when I started getting concerned but I was like it might just be turning dark gray don't worry <laughs> so I got through the closure and then I did two bundles and once I seen how dark purple the closure had gotten by the time I went through those two bundles I cut everything off and ran to rinse it out and it was fucking Barney purple I swear to god Y'all, I was so pissed off. That's why it's no video or no picture of it. But I swear to you guys, it was dark purple. And you guys will be able to see through the rest of this video how two sets of the bundles are like a weird purplish color. And that's exactly why. Because I didn't want to continue trying to do a bleach wash over the hair to get the color out. So I used the softer way to get color out. And I only did it like once or twice. And after that, I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to color over and what I get is what I get. But yeah, so I left in this one <laughs> clip so you guys could see how dark that first, well, second dye color had gotten. Since I have no other footage <laughs> of how purple it came out. But trust me, everyone in my house knew that their damn hair came out purple and I was upset. third dye I had gunmetal gray I think from what is that the temptations color I think that's what it's called in titanium from a door or is it kiss I think it's kiss um, titanium which in the first place when I first went to the store I had no intention of buying it because I knew it had that purple undertone to it I had just looked at it the other night and I was like, no, we're not going to get titanium because it has purple undertones and it's a no. But what did I do? I went in the store and got titanium and gunmetal instead of sticking to my original plan and just getting two gunmetals. So first I tried watercoloring and I'll show you guys a little bit of that with 
um, gunmetal, I think it was, or was it titanium? I don't know. Um, but I tried the watercolor and I was just like, oh no, baby, this isn't it. This isn't working. <laughs> so I quickly switched that out and went to try and dyeing it. And it was a no go once again. The Temptations color was so splotchy for me to have directly applied it to the hair. It, it was so splotchy, you guys. It was horrible. And the hair barely took the color on top of that, and I don't know why. you guys will see in the clip <laughs> everything just kept turning purple and I was getting so frustrated this is the third dye and I was getting really ticked off at this point so at this point it was like a week or a couple of days after and then I went back to try for the fourth time and thankfully that fourth time finally came through that's what I'm looking for right there. Yes, that's this is what it's supposed to be when you ask for great. This is what I wanted. Okay, and this is the final look after my four trial and errors. I finally got a, a color close to what I was going for. Um, I left all of those trials in just so you guys can see. You're not going to always get what you wanted in the first place um, when you first try. You're going to have fails and mess ups, you know, you're going to waste money sometimes on things that aren't going to turn out the way you want. But just, you know, take a break, calm down a little bit and get back into it. I just wanted to leave those in so you guys can see it. My colors don't always turn out the way I want and I don't always put them in because I don't want my videos to be extra long but with this one I just really wanted you guys to see that I fucked up so many times with this hair <laughs> or just mainly with this idea for this hair because I used two different hairs. Watercolor it came out a little better so if you want to use this only use it if you're going to do watercolor. Um, because color is so pretty but it's splotchy as hell so I wouldn't even give credit to that because once I did that first track you guys seen I just went in with the black <laughs> velvet afterwards and used that and then I used a little bit of off black but not much of uh, black velvet is the one that's almost empty so we're going to go with this one and say black Velvet did most of the work, so I just bought this and 
curled it a little bit. I actually like it curled in the front more than I do when it's straight. I don't know why, um, but I do. And also what I did put in the video is I added a dark root to the hair and I used a Doors Muck. Was it mahogany? I don't have the bottle anymore because I used the last bit. But um, it was the same brown I used in my last video. No, Sienna Brown. Sienna Brown. And I mixed it in with Gun Metal Cray. I either mixed it in with um, more black velvet or Gun Metal Cray. It kind of toned it down, but it still came out with like a reddish tone. I don't know if my camera will pick it up but it still has like a reddish tone to it and I just went in and um, did that to the roots because I wasn't feeling it exactly when it was just all gray I wanted to add some brown roots so it looks like I dyed my hair gray and my roots are going back out so yeah I'm really happy with how it looks that's why I keep looking down because I'm looking in the mirror so I'm sorry <laughs> I really spent about like $70 <laughs> on box dye trying to get this color when I could have just bought one a door bottle for like $4.99 and been done with it. I, I really can't get over that y'all. I'm so mad I spent all that money and I really played myself like that just because that got to be color is metallic I wanted it to be metallic and so I really spent about $70 wasted <laughs> yeah this is the end of the video I will put up Chan's picture right here so you guys can see um it was really hard to really judge again the color um you see he didn't have this color for long because it wasn't permanent it was just temporary color and he played us like clowns and so yeah it was really hard to try and find photos of this to compare it to but that is the color right there i hope it's up and you guys can compare the color for yourselves i really like how the color came out so i'm really happy with it but yeah that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy it tell me what you think down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye turn okay I love this hair so much. I love it so much. <laughs> Bye. I got a lot of work to do, not feeling it in a home. My home is calling up, I'm not to get a full shot. But baby, I'm too lazy for this shit so far.